Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Your presence is always appreciated here. I hope you are doing well. On this episode, I will try to explain the key factors that may help you to play Magic Gold more effectively and efficiently. According to my humble experience, I have learned so far. I hope this guide helps you as a Magic player and makes the things easier for you. Please be my guest and do not hesitate sharing your opinions about my suggestions, whether you think they are correct or incorrect. And I also would like to hear your thoughts about the Magic Roll and the way it should be played. After watching this episode, do not forget to drop a like and press the subscribe button if you find this content beneficial. Every nation has its own military. They are educating medical personnel at military medical schools. Those who manage to graduate take mission at the battlefield, behind the battlefield and military hospitals. To simply put, they are the guys called the help. So what do they actually do? Those guys have skills such as reviving you, healing you and making you ready to go back to fight. Except the standard infantry rifle, almost the all factions provide the same equipment to the medic role. And if we list them from top to bottom, it's gonna be like this. Standard infantry rifle. One of them is with 3 times or higher scope, whereas the other one can use red dot or the iron sight. We got pistol. For some factions, we got grenades. We got knife. 4x smoke grenades, which a pair of them has different color depending on the faction, 9x bandages, treatment kit, binoculars only for the medic use red dot or the iron sight rifle, and a shovel of course. Earlier we mentioned that medic roll has 4 smoke grenades, and you can use them both for assault and defense missions. Therefore, smoke grenades are one of the most important tactical equipments in the game. However, they do not work as they do at battlefield games in the squad. The smoke cloud of the grenade spreads out slowly and in time. Therefore, they should be thrown to block the opponent's line of sight instead of a single spot like upon a knockdown ally. Smoke grenades in squad has a unique characteristic which is its smoke cloud always spreads to the right of your throwing line. As you can see, smoke cloud is spreading to the right. Ok guys, let's assume that you need to cross the road in front of me through south, and your fellow knocked down at where MATV stands. According to your calculations, enemy bullet has been shot from my red infantry mark. In this example, you should definitely not throw your smoke grenades upon the MATV where actually your fellow's body stays. Instead, you should target and blind the line of fire between your friend and source of fire. We already mentioned that the smoke clouds spreading to right. Right now, I would like my bomb smoke cloud spread through north. Therefore, I should throw one of my grenades to the south of my yellow mark and the other one through a little north of it to my green mark. Remember, Every time try to use your white smoke grenades first if possible, so your opponents won't think that you are a medic or a squad leader. As you can see, smoke clouds spread as I just wanted and now the line of fire between me and the source of fire is completely blind. Right now, I'm looking from the possible location of enemy fire source through my first position. And forget about seeing an infantry, I cannot even see the MATV. If you see such a guy lying on the ground like this or see this icon when you open your map, then it means that an ally or allies have been knocked as a result of a couple of possibilities. It could be because of enemy fire, friendly fire or other reasons you know what they are. Anyway, then your primary responsibility is, if the area is safe, picking up those knockdown allies and applying them treatment. The knockdown allies stay on the ground for a specific time period due to the measure and type of the damage received by opponent force. If those guys are not revived during that time period, they will be permanently dead and your team will lose a ticket per infantry, except the commander, cause commander's ticket value is 2. Right now, I would like to point out a couple of important things. Each role can use bandage both on themselves and on allies. But Medic is the only one which apply bandage faster than any other role and able to apply treatment which is also called healing. The other important thing which I will dig down lately in the guide is, if you revive an ally, please heal him first, before trying to revive another one. If you see someone like this around you, 
and see this icon on map, then it shows that those guys are bleeding out. In this case, you should select your bandage and apply it to the friendly target by keep pressing mouse button left and stop the bleeding. If bleed out effects are not stopped, players lose their HP in time and finally they will knock down. Each player has a certain health point and they may lose it as a result of couple of incidents. If the health point drops to a certain amount and lower of that amount, players may lose their stamina and even visibility. Moreover, vision of an ally you have just revived remains black for some time and if their HP stays still, they will directly die without getting any knockdown as soon as they get any type of damage. In addition that, even though they manage to recognize enemy while in that black screen, they will not be able to aim and shoot the target accurately because of low stamina level. Therefore again, you must completely heal your allies after reviving them ASAP. Medic Roll also provides you a vision feature of monitoring HP level of allies around you. Therefore, you should try to keep your teammates HP circle completely green as much as you can. To simply put, your duty as a medic player is reversing the unfavorable conditions against your team at that time, not making it worse. What I intend to say is, if your allies depended on your assistance, it simply means that something went wrong or still going wrong. For this reason, you should take care of your own safety first. In order to do that, I suggest you to ignore help requests you hear from voice channels, such as, Medic, I'm down, you must hurry, run, you have to revive me fast. Under such circumstances, you should stay calm, think more, and act wisely with maximum attention. Even though your friends forget that very often, you are their best chance, and you should not risk it by doing simple mistakes. So, how are you gonna do that? Use the voice channels to get information from the knockdown allies, which might be really helpful for you, such as if they hear enemy footsteps or how much blood at time they still have. If possible, try to reach them by proning and taking cover, or use your smoke grenades and wait until smoke spreads out. Then you can try to direct them by pressing F button to safer spots, or ask for someone else to do it if you are not alone. And if you think it's too risky and your friend's location is still under the enemy line of fire, then easy, don't do anything and tell your friend that you will not be able to help him. Remember, you cannot help everyone. Obviously, there are so much variety of scenarios and it's not possible to analyze all of them. On that account, I will mention only a couple of more general and basic examples which are important and more likely to happen. Imagine that there is a bunch of allies lying on the ground. Which one of them should be revived first? If there is another colleague of you in that bunch, then try to revive him first. By doing that, you will be increasing survival chance of everyone significantly. If there is an enemy vehicle around you, look for the heavy and light anti rolls to revive and provide them full treatment. If there is no enemy vehicle and no medic in the bunch, in that case, you need to revive commander and scout leaders first. Let's assume that you have only a bandage left and you are the only medic around, dead or alive. What you gonna do? First and foremost, you need to look for a private with a not empty ammo bag, so you can resupply your bandages if you revive him first. If this is out of chance, then communicate with your friends and revive the one who has maximum amount of bandages, which is two. Whether you are on an attack or a defense mission, try to get in position at the safe spots which will provide you the best cover and camouflage. Inside of buildings, bushes that have high intensity, nearby off vehicle carcasses and behind drugs are the most common spots which can provide you a cover and camouflage you need. Never be the guy running in front of your squad or stay too close to your squad mates, especially if they are in contact with the opponent. Unless your squad leader says the opposite, you should try to follow your squad almost from equal distance to all of them from safe distance behind. Keep checking around and map very often and provide assistance to your squad. In case of any enemy contact, you will have more chance to check and analyze the things happening around than your friends because you will be at the more secure location comparing to the other members of your squad. I know we have already said a lot of time that as a medic your safety comes first. Yet, here we say one more time, your safety comes first. In order to make it real, you must be sure that you are taking the maximum help from the allies around you. Feel free to ask your friends to direct a knockdown ally to safe spot or 
even nearby you. Because the basic logic here is staying in your safe spot as much as possible and providing maximum possible support to your teammates. Ok lads, I have tried to explain the important and basic things about Medicrawl and its gameplay according to the experience I've had so far. Please share your thoughts at the comment section below and if you think I'm mistaken or forgot to mention about the things that I was pointing out then let me know. Before putting an end this guide, I would like to say a couple of things about the SCUD community's approach to the medic players. Medic is not the most entertaining role to play in terms of action, especially for those trying to play the role as it really deserves. Therefore, do not forget that medic players actually making sacrifice at some point, and maybe show them some little respect, or kindness at least. Help them doing their job, do not make them run behind you while getting healed. Communicate them about your condition if a medic player is approaching your location to revive. Wait after getting revived and meantime please follow their instructions like stay still, prone through the south, keep an eye on the east or do not reload. In the end, none of the medic players play the game to be your babysitter. Therefore, I please you to consider my request and reevaluate your attitudes against them. There we are guys at the end of this guide. Special thanks for those who still watch the video. I hope this guide helps you to become a better medic player. If you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it so far. I wish you all a great day. See you soon in another video.